gonna show you how I replace the drum brakes on a Dodge. Jack up the back tires, pull it off. All right, let's grab a rubber mallet. Put a bang on. There she goes. It's right off. What I would do normally is I would take pictures of the brakes so that I can see where all the springs go. When these went bad, they just fell apart and I got grinding in my rear end. I took them apart, drove them for a little while, and now I'm gonna put it back together. I got both the hardware kit and the shoes. What I'm gonna do to start off with is I'm gonna change out this wire. I gotta pull this back bolt out, slip it all together. It's got teeth in it so that it won't spin around. So you just gotta kind of push through those teeth there. And then this piece will come off too. It all just takes a little bit of working with. Um, it goes a lot easier if you got some uh, anti-seize you can use on it. I just remember the order that these all go in so that I can put them back together correctly. All right, got my new one to put on. It goes washer, spring, and this piece goes on um, this direction, uh, right with the curve going towards the truck. This piece goes on like this. This piece goes on through the center of that. All right, so to get all this seated, I just take a hammer. Just tap it through the hammer because it's all pretty tightly put together. The center stud is tight and everything else around it is still loose so it can all move. Now I'm going to put this piece onto the shoes. Shoes go like this with the circle on the top. So on the back one, I drove the pin through. Um, this is facing me. So I drove it in the back. It's the outside. I take and I put this spring on. It goes like this down. With the, it'll have a little bit of pressure about like that. Then this thing with the letter right out and just snap it on. There'll be a solid side on this and there'll be the bolt side. Um, solid side goes here. This wire has a guide that's got to be pounded into the shoe as well. This guide goes right there on the same shoe that the uh, tensioner goes on. When that piece is in, I just took, bent those tabs over. This is the system that holds the pads towards the truck. So they are these little bent nail-like things. I just push them through, there are two holes in the back. Then I'm gonna put the pad that goes on that side on. And then these little guys go in. This is the top here. Then when I put this thing in, press this part down in and hook it onto that clip. This little top thing, you can get those in later. Like that. Then the other one in. On the other side, this one's kind of hard to see, but it goes there as well. All right, so that springs in. Spring back there is in. Now, I'm gonna put the big red spring in. Right there, there's a hole, it's kind of dark. And then this one right here. And then I just stretch that across, hook that thing in. There we go. Okay, this is another spring, but this is this is the same idea. This line, you see how this one comes out here? It's got to be facing back, so on the back. Otherwise, it's going to rub. It'll rub on this here. Spring those in right across the bottom. Spring there. The wire spring, it goes like this. Wire runs down. It's not in there right now, but it goes over that groove on the, uh, the little rail we put in and it hooks in to the top of that right there. The side that the lever comes in to hold this back from spinning backwards, that's the side I put the solid piece in. That's the way I run it. Put the top the bolt pieces in. I just push the rubber part in like this, and then I'll get a screwdriver and just pry it in. Now that I got that done, take and wipe this, wipe this out with some brake cleaner goes on just like that now I'm gonna put the tire on and adjust the brakes both tires are jacked up and if you spin the tires around you can hear there's no drag and I want there to be just a hair of drag so I'm just gonna run this thing up so now I don't know if you can hear but there's just a hair of drag so I'm gonna put my 
my cap back in and do the other side the exact same. Now that I got both my uh, brakes so they have a bit of drag, I'm gonna go in reverse and just hit the brakes real hard. Just a few times to just get everything cemented in. 